Hello, and welcome to Fables of the Penitent Thief, a Thief to Fan mission by Sliptip and Digital Nightfall. As you can probably see already, this is going to be a slightly unconventional kind of mission. Thanks for checking out Fables of the Penitent Thief. In this mission you play Buttby, a reformed burglar with a bit of a problem. You must explore the town, speak with the people there, and embark on a series of adventures with puzzle solving, navigational challenges, and even a little stealth. We hope you have a ton of fun with our mission, the team. Well, let's go. We don't even have difficulty levels, we have one objective. It's a wonderful warm spring day. Make sure you take it easy. Good morning. My walls are wobbling. Should I be concerned? Journal. Dear Diary. Boy, I am in a pickle for sure. I was caught red-handed as the thief who nabbed the king's loot. Personally, I think my wife ratted me out. But rather than toss me in the dungeon where I belong, the king has asked me to return everything I've stolen. He thinks I know where it all is, but I have a nasty secret. I don't have a clue! But if I can track it all down and return it to the castle, I'll get a full pardon. Well, I stole it all once. I can do it again. Time to get to work. And that's repeat to me. Time to get to work. Hello, people. Busby, what have you been doing all this time? Don't you know there's work to be done? There's no more time to waste. A man is waiting for you at the castle's gate. You have to give back all the king's treasures you've stolen. Get to it, you lazy bum. Oh, it's, uh, it's just repeat. It's okay. Oh. Well, we can't take it easy anymore. Without a ring, what will everyone kiss? Steal back the king's ring. King with proud breath. There's no king at all. Find the king's toothbrush. The king is likely to get thirsty at some point. Return his chalice. The king won't look very kingly without a scepter. Better get that back too. Other kings will laugh at your king if he doesn't have a crown. Give him back his crown. The king will still be a king without his amulet, but honestly, I don't think he'd be as good a king. While you're grabbing the other things, might as well get the king's amulet too. Once you've stolen back all the king's sw swag, return to the castle to give him back. My daughter, I'll bet I can name all the king's things you've stolen. Don't believe me? The crown, the scepter, the chalice, the ring, the amulet, and the toothbrush. You're going to find them all and give them back to the king, right? Please, Daddy? You would make Mummy happy if you did. Don't be so lazy all the time, Daddy. Alright, daughter. <laughs> oh, that's excellent too. Both of your family. It's like... A little level transition. Like a map transition. West Town Square. Oof, where are we? West Town Square, home. Right, we're just here. I guess I just came out the door there. So, Wizard's Tower is down to the south. I have no idea where I'm going. Explore the town. Talk to people, I suppose. Hey, Busby, the whole town is talking about you. Don't act so surprised. And it's a good thing, too. Everyone knows you stole the king's treasures and sold them all off. If you ask the right people, I'm sure they'll help you track them all down. Hey, don't look at me. I've already told you all I'm gonna. Oh, I, need to, I need to pay attention to when the dot 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 more disappears. That wizard is a menace. Anyone who goes into his tower never comes out. As soon as the king's kingliness is restored, we need to petition him to drive that wizard out. Ooh, it's locked. I don't have lockpicks, do I? Do I have anything? I've got a compass. I have nothing else. That's fine, I can live with that no equipment. Just keep out with it. Hello? You found an Easter egg! <laughs> got a smiley face on it. Look at that. Nice. I wonder how many easter eggs there are all together. The cheese shop! Madam Grocer. Busby, come to do a little shopping. 
As you know, all of the shops in town trade apples for their wares. To buy an item, just use your apple collection on the item on the counter. A sign will always tell you how many apples that item costs. Some items won't be for sale until you have a quest where you need it. I hope that helps, Busby. Thank you. Yeah, I really shouldn't be coming around the back of the counter. It's just old thief habits, you know. Is there anything to steal? Supposed to be a reformed thief, a penitent thief. Five apples for the cheese. Okay. What a gorgeous day this. Lost? Well, slightly. Any Easter eggs here? No, but there is this fine fellow. I saw the king's scepter once. It was a beautiful thing. Gold covered in gems. Amazing. It was a craftsman who showed it to me up in his home, north of the castle. I have no idea how he got his hands on the king's scepter, but there it was, plain as day. He keeps it locked tight in a safe, of course. Hey, aren't you Busby the thief? Frat, I guess I shouldn't have told you all that. Alright, I'm only just stealing it back. Craftsman. Oh, I can't take notes. That's unfortunate. Craftsman has a scepter. We don't want to go to the castle yet, right? Although, I guess... Alright, I guess we have to go especially to the castle. We go north and then east to the castle. Sunshines. Hey, little Miss Sunshine. Megan Sunshine. Hey, mister, what's your name? Busby? That's a funny name. My name is Megan Rose Pratilla Sunshine. Hey, mister, did you see a dolly anywhere? I found one when I was playing in the orchard, you know, behind the rich man's house. I wanted to keep the dolly, but my mummy said no. She said it has lice. I don't know what a lice is, but I don't want a dolly with lice. If you can find her and clean her off, will you please give her to me? Please, please, please. Alright, I will. Nice music box. Look at all the music coming out of it. That must be what's playing this joyful soundtrack we're hearing. Well, good afternoon, must be my friend. What's a fine fellow like you up to this day? I see, I'm writing a new song myself. I call it Ode to a Frog. Want to hear it? <laughs> Beautiful. No. Well, poop on you! No, no, forget it. I'm not playing anything for you. Come back later. Oh, well, maybe I shouldn't have said no. Hi. Castle man, hold right there, must be not a step further. I can't let you into the castle until I've seen the king's six treasures with my own eyes. Otherwise, you might steal the seventh treasure, the king's sword. I'll have you know that sword is the only thing preventing the evil castle ghost from taking over. So hurry along and bring me the crown, scepter, chalice, amulet, ring, and toothbrush. Only then will the king be restored and you will be forgiven. Yes, castle man. Okay. Hello, is this a shop? We're done for, I think. Why do I look so glum? Because I know the truth. We're doomed. It's too late, Busby. Even if you race around and find all of the king's treasure, the ghost, the castle ghost, will still rise to power. The king is history. The town will be enslaved. And it's all your fault, Busby. All your fault. Get out of my sight. Found an Easter egg. Two Easter eggs. I wonder how many there are. It is three o'clock. Okay, so that's, that's where we just were. This is, this is... That was the clock tower, right? Or is this also the clock tower? I mean, it's got a clock. Oh, it's a lift. Very clunky lift. Well, it didn't break. That's good. Oh, wow. This clock tower is awesome. I especially love how they have all the gears just turning once a second rather than and the stopping. It's just like picking the, uh, the hands around rather than spinning continuously like most game clock towers have some. It's a very nice touch. It just really fits with the... Also there... Oh, wow. Look at the wobbling there. 
That's a... Um, I very rarely see tweak scale used. That's good. I love it. Hello, Cockman. I know what you're thinking, best be old friend. You're thinking, where's the king's toothbrush? Well, I am sorry, but I can't give it to you. Oh, don't get me wrong. I would if I could, but, well, you see... Okay, this is embarrassing. A rat has locked me out of my room. Yes, a rat. See what it wants, will you? I'm too ashamed to face it. Maybe it will open the door for you, but I've given up on trying. Well, let's go up and talk to this rat. Okay, I don't want some cheese. Hey, rat. Yep. Well, we need five apples. Well, that was close. I nearly died. Uh, we're going to need five apples to get some cheese. I say, can I jump in there and get squashed by the gears? No. Too much safety it won't let me jump in there. Okay, so we know where the toothbrush is. And we know how to get the toothbrush. Five apples. To the cheese, to take it, this is a cheese shop. When am I going to get apples? I don't have any apples. I'm all out of apples. Hello, let's test the thing here. Okay. Nothing secret hiding below there. Not even an Easter egg. Hello. Speaking of Easter eggs. That's three. You know what, we should probably go to the Craftsman first, since he has the Scepter, right? Where is Craftsman? This might be the Craftsman's place, right? Crafty the Craftsman! Oh, his place is shut. Maybe this door? It's locked. Can't use an easter egg on it. Arrows, oh hello. Another easter egg! I hope somebody will tell me how many there are. Oh, this is the baker. Oh, Busby. Maybe you can help me. My bakery is infested with frogs. Good gracious, keep your waist down. If anyone finds out, I am ruined. I think they came in through a hole in the wall down the grassy alley. Maybe you can draw them out? Anyway, if you can find a way to get rid of them, I'll give you a big discount on anything you want. Alright. Did you say a hole in the wall? Oh yeah, there's a... I can certainly hear your frogs. Terrible. Meeting frogs like that. Well, I wonder if the minstrel might be able to help if he's willing to talk to me again. He might not be. I'm sorry what I said earlier. Have you changed your mind about my wonderful song? Yes! Okay, here goes. I think I know the words to this. Croak, croak, croak your frog gently down the... Hmm, I'm not sure. Did you like it? Yes, yes, yes. Well, kind of. Oh, I knew you would. Do you want to borrow my spare music box so you can listen to it whenever you like? Yes. What fun. Now you can enjoy my beautiful song wherever you go. Thank you, minstrel. Let's see if that will bring the frogs out. Croak, croak, croak your frog. Where'd you look at that? I love it out here. Any more frogs? 
Wow, there's a lot of frogs in there. There's like 300 frogs. Alright. The frog problem is being... Well, it's already solved. Do you know what I love about my bakery? There's no frogs in it! Well, I'd love to stand around and chat, but there's baking to do. If you need anything, just bring me a recipe. I'll be glad to help. Okay, excellent. Can I steal anything from your bakery? Do you have any Easter eggs? Have you got an Easter egg hidden in your fireplace? I mean, it would be well cooked, I suppose, if you did. Well, if I need anything baked, I know where to come. I guess it's all the frogs. Well, I'll leave the music box there. I know where it is if I need to get it again. Where am I going now? I guess there's the arrow shop. Hello! <laughs> If it wasn't for you, Busby, I'd go out of business. The water arrows are three apples piece, and rope arrows are five apples each. Do I have- I don't have any apples, do I? I have no apples. Where do I get apples? This is a problem. I feel like I'm gonna need apples. Certainly would like a rope arrow, that sounds very useful. Alright. Your music was great. Pretty good song if I do say so myself. Well, it was very useful. Very useful music. I'm not sure if that's what you how you normally like to describe it, but uh Alright, we haven't been done this way yet. Let's Let's talk to these people. This is the gardeners. Oh boo, I'm the worst gardener ever. I've tried everything. But they won't bloom. I tend three of the king's finest rope trees. But they just won't bear any ropes. <laughs> Will you help me, Busby? No. What? Come on, Busby, help a guy out. Alright. You will? Oh, splendid! Listen, the only thing left to try is dung from a furious rope beast. Only I haven't seen one in years. They prefer to live in dark, damp places. Hey, why don't you check with old Malky? He tends the king's waterways, but lives in a tower. He's sure to have come across one. Is that the wizard? Rope beast. I could maybe just shoot some rope arrows in the tree? But maybe I should be looking for this rope beast, huh? Okay, ah, apples. I see apples. Want apples? Of course you do. Everyone loves apples here. Well, you know how Lord Redshine is the richest man in town? That's because he's got an apple orchard. A bit of sneaky thief like you wouldn't have a problem swiping a few of those apples. And while you're at it, I hear he has a king's ring too. I wonder how he got his hands on that. Just watch his guards though. They like to take your apples if they catch you. Oh, you're reformed, are you, Busby? Then there's no way you need to know any of that. Ha ha! Everyone knows about the King of Crown, Amulet, Chalice, and his other treasures, but do you realize that his toothbrush is among his most prized possessions? What, you don't believe me? How else would the king keep his beautiful smile? Anyway, Busby, if I remember right, you sold the toothbrush to the clockkeeper, didn't you? I'm sure he'd give it back to you without a fuss. Indeed, he already offered to, but uh, he can't find it. Hello? Mr. Egg, Lord Redshine, hmm? Before I go into your house... 
I wonder if I can reach these apples. I could. Three of them. Three apples would buy me a water arrow. That's all. Won't buy me cheese. Lazy square. Hello? Man with a secret. Hey, Busby, you told the king's amulet to the wizard, right? Don't try to act innocent. I heard you bragging about it in the tavern all those nights ago. Well, I know how you can get into the wizard's tower. But I don't come cheap. Bring me an apple and I'll talk. That, I can get you. Got some. Hang on, let me just step back. Give? Ah, uh, delicious. So, quick. Word is that the wizard has ordered a special MacGuffin from the town's craftsman. He's got the big house north of the castle. If you're delivering that MacGuffin, I'll bet you'll be able to walk right through the wizard's gate. But you didn't hear it from me. Mmm, this apple is so good. Delivery from the craftsman, huh? Alright, now I have apple inventory, but no apples. Just a little odd. Zero. I've got that. Uh, it's free. I've got an inventory uh, thing that's. Zero apples. I'm sure you remember selling the King's Crown to the Gardener, right? Well, good luck getting it back. Even if you can get into his house, I'm sure you'll be running straight out afterwards. Why? What's the Gardener's secret? Hello, Hatless Willy. You have no hat. You look like a man with questions, Busby, and I'm ready to answer them. But you've always been the sort to kick a man when he's down. And I've always been the sort for petty retribution. I'll tell you something helpful, but not until you buy me a brand new hat. I know I'm no king, but if you're really reformed, you ought to help out the other blokes you've robbed, right? There's a nice one for sale at the hatter up the way. I hear he only wants five apples for it. So will you do it or won't you? No. Well, you can't blame a guy for trying. All right, all right, all right. Yes. Wonderful! Just bring me the hat and I'll tell you all I can. I will bring you a hat if I have the apples to spare. But first I want to know if you have any Easter eggs in your house. Doesn't look like you do, that's unfortunate. Nice painting though. Okay, so... Craftsman delivery to the tower, huh? Or we could go and try and get some apples. Should we try and steal some apples? Got you. Back to the streets with you, thief. Did he actually take the apple away? He did. And it's not there again. I have to be more careful. Oh, these doors actually open. Does he keep anything hidden in here? Easter eggs, maybe? A broom? A broom is nice, but not useful for apple gathering. Can't believe he caught me. Oh! 
Yeah, here's all the apples. Where does this guard fella go? Need to make sure we know where the dark corners are. So we can take all these apples without getting caught. I also see an Easter egg. Be sneaky, Busby. Seven apples. How many do we need? We're gonna need five for the cheese. Five for the mammoth answers. Five for a rope arrow. Three for a what arrow? That's 18 apples. That's a lot of apples. Maybe we won't need a water arrow. Maybe. I don't steal all the apples right now, but only the ones I need. We can come back in here when we've spent these apples, and then if the guards catch us, they won't have anything to take. See, Busby? That's being clever. You're using your head, Busby. Also, the water arrows. Oh, I see. There's a guard there. That's. Have to be cautious. Does he move? Ah, he turns away. Got our apples! Yay! Let's go spend some apples. Uh, where was the answers man? You know what? Hatless will leave us the answers man. Let's spend them on the rope arrow and the cheese, first of all. Because the cheese will get us the toothbrush. And the rope arrow will let me get to new places. Where is the arrow shop? Oh, we're at the cheese shop already. Alright, cheese shop first. Yay! We got we got a delicious cheese. Thank you. Alright. Is the arrow shop down here or am I I'm just all turned about. Air shop was at the north end of town, of course. Yes, the sign is very helpful. I keep having to answer it positively. Yes, here's the air shop. Yay, we got a nice rope arrow. Cheers! Alright, so now we have no apples, so we don't have to don't have to be afraid of the guards. But you know I can use the rope arrow. Let's see if I can get up to this garden with it. Practice, you know? Look at that. It's a beautiful rope. more eggs. I don't think I can get on the roof. Oh, I can get on the roof, but should I be on the roof? Well, nobody seems to be complaining that I'm on the roof. I can kind of see out of the map though, so maybe I shouldn't be on the roof. Let's be good. Okay. Where's the clock tower? Here. Yeah. Hmm. These looks delicious. Almost want to eat it myself. It's 
still have the apple inventory, but zero apples. Oh, that must be the clock face there. Oh, it's not three o'clock. I have to look out, I can't really read the time backwards when it's mostly covered up by a gear. Would you like cheese? You brought me cheese? Oh, thank you! It's a big, deep burger wrapped. Oh, you'll open the door. Thank you. Thanks, Mr. Man! Sorry, I'm trying not to step on you there. Now the rat's just running around. Hello! Seven Easter eggs! Ooh, we can go higher? King's toothbrush! That's the first of the six treasures we have to get. Alright, well let's tell uh, the clockkeeper that um, he can get back in his bedroom now. Remarkable cheese? That's all I wanted. I never would have guessed. Thank you, thank you. Help yourself to the toothbrush. If you haven't already, of course. I'm sure the king has more use for it than I do. Well, you could have brushed your teeth with them too, you know. I mean, now I've got a rope arrow I can get up there, but... There isn't a reason to, is there? I don't think there's a reason to, but, uh, you know, I can try. I'll try on this side, because then I can maybe jump onto the gears for fun and profit. Nope. There's no reason to be up here. Alright, let's go back down. King's do brush picked. Where is the clock and where can I see it? Oh, there it is. Oh, look, the second hand even ticks around. That's excellent. Brilliant. Oh, hello. Were you there before? Cook, I like to get out of the house early. It keeps away from giving me more chores if he thinks my shift begins at the crack of dawn. Really, I just wait out here until purple clock for my shift to begin at the craftsman's house. I'm his dinner time cook, you see. When the time is right, I'll unlock the lower door behind the gazebo and head inside. Well, it's nice chatting with you, but I'm going to enjoy the sunshine. Purple clock is still hours away. Bye. Oh, yeah, you're right. It's only like blue o'clock. Ah, uh, but at purple o'clock you'll unlock that door and get back to work. I see. Then maybe we can get the package from Crafty the Craftsman. Hmm. I wonder if the clockkeeper could change the time for us. Shall we ask? Do we go back up this contraption? What? You want me to change it to purple o'clock? But it's only half past blue! That would be a violation of the clock keep keeper's code, you know? Well, you did help me with my rat problem. Consider it done, Busby, my good man. Beautiful, thank you. Very helpful. I will feed you rat cheese any day. Oh, 
Well, what are you looking at, Mr. Cook? Time to get back to your cooking because it is now purple o'clock and 30 seconds. Oh, it doesn't feel like purple o'clock already, but I guess it's time to get to work. Feel free to make yourself at home, but watch out. Kids, kids are playing hide and sneak right now. If they find you, you better play along. Whoops. Ooh. <laughs> Let's, let's get this rubble out of the way. Hello, how do you play hide and sneak? I gotcha, you're out! Thanks for playing, mister! I see. Well, I have a secret. You have a secret passage, and I have, I know the secret of the passage. Oof. Don't think you can get this on top. Ow! Maybe I can throw it. One more try. Yeah, look at that. Beautiful work, that's me. Is that is that the is that the delivery for the for the wizard? I don't know. I, I need to search the house first. Maybe if I'm sufficiently sneaky. I'm sneaky enough, I shouldn't need water arrows, right? Small kids, you've got very loud footsteps. Can't fit in the fireplace. Interesting, I wonder what this is all about. <gasps> Did you find me? They found me. Careless, careless. Well, let's try again, but let's go this way. Oh. Let's not go out that way. Is that the room I just went into? Yeah, I think it is. Yes. Good hiding places in here. It's Bobby Better. I see. I don't know quite. Why I would want to put these pieces in the picture, but I can certainly see that they would fit. Ah, that's what I'm hearing footsteps. It's 
a safe. I wonder... Is this where Crafty keeps his... The thing we stole, you know, that... Oh, sorry, we stole that we sold to him that we're going to steal back. Sign for again. Okay. Oh, you didn't take Bobby Better away from me, though. They're very good at, at catching me when I'm trying to sneak, or I'm very bad at sneaking. Let's try upstairs. Oh, we got lots of stairs. Not a good room to hide in. It also seems not to be a good room to hide in. It was awfully good of Busby to sell me the scepter. It'll be safe in the vault. The king has other treasures. He won't miss one scepter, will he? Just in case, I made that vault really hard to get into. It won't open until all of our pets are in their spots. And that never happens. Crafty Joe Dom has a lot to say. Well, you know what? I can go upstairs. <laughs> Sneaky Buffy way. Look at that. Ooh, nice attic. Very dark. That's what, that's what nice means. It is Peter Parrot! Ah, Peter Parrot to go with Bobby Better. Excellent, that's two of the... Let's not be too noisy. That's two of the... I think it's five, maybe six? Animals that we need. Okay. While she's in there, let's go back down. Pussy Kitty! Don't come this way. That's good. Downstairs is right. I think they can hear the girl coming downstairs too. Doggy! <laughs> Just looking for Easter eggs. A lot of crates in this house.
I think he heard something and I think he's searching. It's alright. Kids had a fight again over their pets. My daughter is jealous that Dory likes to sleep in the room with my son. It's not his fault though, the dog will sleep wherever she feels like it. To make matters worse, no one can find Maggie and both kids blame each other for losing her. Maggie always shows up eventually though. Mice like to hide in the attic. This attic? There's Maggie Mouse! Maggie Mouse, Bobby Better, Dory Dobby, Chrissy Kitty, and Peter Pan, I think. Might be all the pets. Now we just have to get downstairs and back out again. Without getting caught. Ah, oh, that's the way we need to go, right here. Okay. No, it isn't. That's where the safe is, but that wasn't where the... Not where the lock was. Where was the lock? He's still suspicious of something. Apparently it was a door at the end of this room on the right, but I could be misremembering. No. Wait a second. And where did the secret passage go? Best game here. Aha. Uh -huh. Eat a parrot. Will be better. Is right. The cat doesn't look right. Yeah, that's more like it. A safe unlocks. Isn't that wonderful? Close. Uh, we need to get back into this room. Ah, uh, that's the Wizard's MacGuffin. Excellent. Okay, so we take that with us. So Wizard would be very sad if he doesn't get that delivered in time. King Scepter! Okay. 
Can we get out with the cat? The kids find us again. Bye bye, kids. All right, we did very well there. We got the scepter and we got the wizard's MacGuffin. I don't know if we missed any Easter eggs, so maybe we did. Well, we can take the MacGuffin to the wizard, I suppose. around here I might have missed. <sighs> Aha, would you look at that. Just what I need. Alright, so... We should be able to get into the wizard's tower, right? Let's... Wait, have I come the wrong way? I have come the wrong way, haven't I? Where is the wizard's tower? West. I have your MacGuffin! And allows you to pass through the gates. That's clever. Very wizardly. If you're reading this, you've made a big mistake. This tower is a trap. Once you go up the stairs, you'll be stuck here. Turn back now. But I have a reason to be here. You know what? To fiddle to your rules. What if I go under the stairs instead of up them? Alright, let's go up the stairs. Let's see how good your trap is. See if your trap is enough to trap Busby. Hey? So much for your trap, Mr. Wizard. Well, 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 if it isn't the famed penitent thief himself, Busby. Are you after the king's amulet which he sold to me fair and square? Well, you really shouldn't have come here. Didn't want anyone warn you that no one ever comes out of my tower alive? <laughs> I know what you're thinking. I can just walk back down these stairs for the exit. Well, I dare you to try. <laughs> I'm sure I'll be seeing you around for years to come, my poor stupid thief. See, I know gravity. I know stairs. Oh, Easter egg. It's just a matter of walking. Look. Just go down the stairs. And then... Oh. Oh. Ha! Ah, ha! Ha! You're stuck now. You were warned, but you're too stupid. Enjoy your new home thief forever. The evil wizard. What if we should go back up? Oh. Are you also stuck here? Oh, so he got you too? Don't look at me for answers, I've got none for you. But my partner seems to have ideas about escape. I can't say any more or the wizard will turn my tongue into a shovel again. Yes, again. It's hard to talk like that, let me tell you. Ten Easter eggs so far. Well, oh, more stairs? <laughs> That's a bad texture. Terrible. All these stairs look the same. Oh, hello, this is a new room. I mean, it's quite comfy if you're stuck here, I suppose. Nobody ever hides any easter eggs under these stairs, it's quite disappointing. Oh, back here again, okay. Yep, 
Yes! Disconcerting, isn't it? Wizard is definitely uh, laughing out of his sleeves at us, I'm sure. Well... Oh! That's the King's Medallion! The King's Amulet, that's what I came here for! See, evil wizard, I'm a better thief than you gave me credit for! Of course, I may not be very good at escaping, that's... That's a different problem. find the servant's partner who has ideas. Hello, are you the servant's partner? Do you have thoughts on how we might escape? I would love to know. The trouble with this tower is going back the way you came takes you somewhere new. But what if that's also the solution? One time I tried just going north over and over, but that was no good. Another time I tried just going south, but that didn't work either. So I thought, third time's the charm and kept going east. Again, no dice. I never did escape. That's when I gave up. I'm afraid I'll never get out. Mm, I do have the compass. What happens if I just go west? Wait, did anybody hide anything under these stairs? No. No easter eggs on these bookshelves? No? What if I try going west over and over? Oh. It also does say going back the way you came takes you somewhere new, right? And I like new places. Oh look! You found your way out! How fun for you! Well, take this advice. Never come back. The evil wizard. What if I go back up? Ah, I see. Ah, but this is also west again. Oh, it's still west. I see, that's why it worked. The one thing that Pet Poor Fellow never thought to try was going west every single time. Well, out we go. I do wonder about this trapdoor, though. As soon as the king's kingliness is restored, we need to petition him to drive the wizard out. Well, I don't know. The wizard isn't all bad. You know what? We need to go and warn these people. To tell them about the solution. Oh, I didn't expect to see you again. I see you brought the amulet back to me. Oh no, you're just here to get turned into a frog? Well, come back later, I'm too busy right now. I'll turn you into a frog some other time. <laughs> Alright. Does this take us back into the maze? It does. So let's go. And everything but west all the time. I see, you always... The way you came, if you go east, you then come out in the east doorway all the time, it seems. So I guess we need to try all the combinations of east and... See how that works out. Or maybe that is. Let's just try north. North all the time. We need to find the servant and the other guy and tell them they need to go west. Right, that's where the amulet was. No. But go west, young man. If I go south, is that going to take me to the servant? Maybe, maybe they, maybe we can't give them advice. Which seems unfortunate, really. 
It'd be uh, nice if if uh, we could help them escape. Yeah, all right. Okay, so let's just go west continually. Let's get out. Well, once we have an opportunity to go west. Here we go. And west again. Oh. That didn't work. Ah, here's the way out. Good, good, good. All right, so... I think... This is an excellent place to end the episode. I'm just going to uh, line things up here for a very nice screenshot. Kind of want the tree in the picture. As best as I can get it. I think that'll do nicely. Alright, and uh, thanks very much for watching, and I'll join you here as we go collect the remaining uh, items, re repossess the remaining items we stole from the king next episode.